This magazine was our first creative project together. I had no idea what I was doing, but I knew that I wanted to design something to tell a story. We took our first trip to Haiti in 2012, right before I went for my first semester in college to become a biology major. There were two reasons that I decided to major in biology. Reason number one was because I wanted to make some form of an impact on the water crisis in Haiti. And reason number two was because that's where all the scholarship money was. Most people paid to go to college, but by the end of that semester, the college paid me about $3,000 or $3,200 to attend their school. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but I'm always wearing this necklace right here, and that's because my mom's side of the family is from Haiti. I have always been obsessed with exploring and traveling to new places, and James has always been the person behind the camera capturing those adventures. And when we came back from Haiti, I had this urge to want to create something. I didn't want to just go to college to be a biology major. I wanted to do something immediately, and that's when we decided to design a magazine. At that point in my creation, journey there was no creative journey I didn't know how to use any Adobe programs and James knew how to use Photoshop so he taught me how to design things in Photoshop we got a hundred copies of the first issue of Life of Haiti printed and it was really nice it was really punchy colors bright and naturey it was something that I was very very proud of at that point in time looking back at all of it now it looks like a weird high school project and it's you know, not my best work. But that was the beginning of it, and I designed it all in December, right before college finals, and soon afterwards, I mean, I, I did good. I was on the dean's list and everything, but I, I needed like that instant creation gratification. I don't know what I needed, but I knew that it wasn't college, so I dropped out. Fun story, I actually got hit by a semi-truck. This is totally true. I got hit by a semi-truck on the way to speak with the uh, like the president of the university or the dean or whatever to like explain to her like, hey, I wanted to drop out and I don't wanna be fined for anything, but I got into that car accident and I was excused from school for the rest of the year, which was amazing because I just never went back. So if I have any advice to any of you young creators, go find a semi-truck, get hit by it. Don't die, but it works out. It worked out for me at least. During the time of the semi-truck accident and me dropping out of college and that whole thing, um, my mom actually moved back to Haiti. I had a lot of things happen that year. I had surgery with no anesthetics. I had, I think it was like staph infection. We didn't really decide what it was, but I was not under any kind of pain medication. Um, it was kind of rowdy, but during that six weeks time, James came back to Haiti to visit and we started the process of making the second magazine. The whole purpose of the first magazine was to portray what life really was like in Haiti and actually reading through it, I don't think I did a good job communicating that. I think I could have maybe done more research, but the second magazine was just showcasing the fact that Haiti was just a third world paradise. It's gorgeous, it's the Caribbean, there's these amazing blue waters, like super lush greens. And after we got back from our second trip, I started the process of designing the second magazine. And that's when I wanted to start making videos to document the process of this whole evolution of making the magazine. Watching the videos back now is a super cringy experience for me. It's not my proudest work, but I will leave one of the less cringy ones at the end of this video. That way you can watch it and see basically the story of one of the people that we met in Haiti. But because this whole thing was my idea to begin with, I didn't really want to burden James. He was already editing all of the photos and I didn't want to make him edit all of the videos. So I had him teach me how to edit in Premiere Pro in one night and I learned how to do it in one night so it's not impossible all you have to do when it comes to editing videos is just cut things and eventually you get a finished video maybe that's why those videos are so cringy but they're very simple it's just us sitting on a bed talking about what we did that week while I continue on this diatribe going down memory lane and sharing my experience of why I dropped out of college and blah, 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 um, I want to go through some of the photos and you can watch those as I'm speaking, that way I don't bore you. But some of these photos made it in the magazine, some of them didn't, and many of them haven't been seen by human eyes other than mine and James. 
Um, but basically the reason that I started the magazine was because I wanted to make some kind of immediate impact that didn't involve me going to school for something that I wasn't really passionate about. The only reason that I went to school to become a biology major is because that's what everybody told me, oh, well, clean water, that has to do with biology. But I was so bad at biology. Like I was just really, really bad at it. I didn't know at all what anybody was talking about at any point in time. James has always been the rebellious person when it comes to schooling. He was homeschooled, which explains a lot of it, but he was really the one that encouraged me to explore my creativity and kind of think outside the boxes to how I can make a real impact on Haiti and basically storytell from there. I think I may have taken this picture of James. It wasn't the best, clearly it's blurry, but it's storytelling. I either took it or somebody else took it clearly because that's how taking pictures works. But this is a fun picture and it brings me back. He still has that necklace, the one that he's wearing right here. This creative project lasted about two years and our focus slowly shifted to just doing different things. Um, but I cannot wait to get back to Haiti. It's been on my to-do list for quite some time. I really want to learn more about the farming there. I know that there's been a ton of deforestation and just the environment and how to make the environment better. I've just been interested in that topic in general. It's been very interesting to see where the creative journey has taken us from the wee moments of a very poorly designed magazine to making very poorly designed YouTube videos. <laughs> wee. Oh, my name is Mise Jambatis. I am a tailor. I like to, to sell pants, t-shirt, clothes. I like this uh, profession. It's my life. I have uh, 50. My friend is dead in the earthquake. And I'm not thinking. Thank you, Jesus, every day, every night for the possibility He gives me. I want to make to make money every day for help the children in the street. It's my dream. My reason behind making this video or really any videos that I make is because I want to encourage you guys to explore that creativity that lives inside your loins. That's your stomach. Your loins are below that. Whoa. <laughs> that escalated. As always, if you guys have any questions behind anything that we do here or what the heck we do here, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them in a video or in a comment back to you. But other than that, I don't have anything else to say. It's snowing outside. I'm excited for snow. But guys, have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Bye.